Venus flytraps like these are often available in big box stores such as Walmart, Home Depot, and those. They are usually available year round for a pretty cheap price, usually five to six dollars. It is great that people have easy access to carnivorous plants, but unfortunately, these plants can end up dying very quickly. So in this video, I wanted to create a little bit of awareness and first explain why do these plants end up dying so often and also a few tips to prevent it. This plant right here, I got it at Lowe's. I think it cost me like $5.99 or something like that. And this one I got it in Walmart. It also cost me like, I think $5. They both came in enclosure. I removed the enclosure from this one a few days ago, uh, but they both came in the same enclosure. And that is the first issue. This enclosure prevents the plant to get proper lighting and also makes it difficult for you to water the plant. So these plants must be removed from this enclosure. Unfortunately, in both of their packages, they actually indicated that you should keep these plants inside this dome or a similar container, which is incorrect and can end up weakening and killing the plant. Besides the container, the fact that they come in a very small pot can be a big issue. Venus flytraps like humid environments, but they can also suffer from root rot. When they are planted in such small pots like these ones, then they are very prone to start rotting and molding. The roots of a Venus flytrap are actually very long, so they need a much taller pot. Another issue with these plants is that when they are in those stores, sometimes they are just placed on a dark shelf for like weeks. So in many cases, they are very, very weak as they have had no access to proper lighting or proper watering. If you are still getting started with carnivorous plants, it can be very risky to buy these plants when they don't look good. In this case, the plants actually look good. They have bright colors, they have tons of leaves. This one has only like five leaves and only like four healthy ones, but it has pretty good sized traps, so it didn't look that bad. But in many cases, I have been to Walmart or to Home Depot and the plants look basically dead. In those cases, I wouldn't recommend to try to rescue them you can try definitely and do your best, but in many cases those plants will end up dying regardless. Another issue with these plants is that they usually come with almost no instructions, like this one right here, or with actually incorrect instructions, like the one that I got from Walmart, that actually came with very strange instructions. So in this video I'll give you just a quick list of some things to, to consider when growing these plants, so you can actually give them a chance. First of all, these plants need, need full light, full sunlight. So if you can place them outside or somewhere where they can have more than 10 hours of sunlight, that'll be optimal. Also, these plants thrive in humid environments. So remove them from the container, put them in an appropriate pot, something a lot taller, plant them in carnivorous plant soil, and then water them very often so the soil is always moist. It doesn't have to be soggy, it shouldn't be swamped, but it should always be humid. The type of water you employ is actually of extreme importance. You have to use either rainwater, distilled water, or reverse osmosis water. Anything else will end up killing your plant, so you have to be very careful with that. And again, if you have the possibility to grow them outside, that is the optimal setup. And if they grow in your garden, for example, they will have access to some bugs so they can actually end up capturing it with their traps and absorbing some nutrients. If you found those tips useful, I'll appreciate it if you can press that like button. That way we can create a little bit more awareness and more people can have access to the content. Besides these tips, there's definitely some other things to keep in consideration. If you are just getting started and you would like to get the whole run through of how I'm going to be rescuing these plants from their original containers to the proper setup, watch the next video and then you can get the complete instructions. For this specific video, I just wanted to make something quick and easy for you to get the general overview. But if you want to get the complete instructions, again, the next video is right for you. If you have any questions about Venus flytraps, you can comment below and I will try to answer or also sometimes members of the community also jump in and answer some questions. So feel free to do that. And thank you so much for watching.